Hey guys, uh, welcome back to our second uh, lesson on Vietnam. Um, at the end of our first lesson, we talked about how the United States was stepping in, and so now with this one, uh, they were United States was stepping in to help France. Now with this unit, we're going to talk about how the United States steps in and basically takes over. Um, basically, France says they've had enough, and so they leave Vietnam. And again, following our policy of containment, the United States decides that we can't just leave Vietnam to Ho Chi Minh and the communists so we take complete control over the southern half of vietnam and if you can remember from the first lesson um, at the geneva accords vietnam was split in two at the 17th parallel with the north going to uh, the c control of ho chi minh and the communists with the capital city of, H of hanoi the south uh, was given control to the nationalists and their capital city would be in saigon um, obviously in the north ho chi minh is the front runner and uh, it, I hope I just said north. In the north, the Ho Chi Minh is the front runner. And then in the south, the nationalists were looking for someone to lead the way. The Geneva Accords, the meetings decided upon elections to be held to try to unify Vietnam. And in the south, one person did step out in, in the lead uh, uh, to be a leader for the uh, the upcoming elections, and that is No Dinh Diem. Um, very difficult to pronounce. Doesn't even sound like the way it's spelled, but that's just the way it is. Um, he was given U.S. support, and um, unfortunately for the United States, Diem did not have any hope of winning. With, with Ho Chi Minh's popularity in the North, uh, there was no way that Diem could win, and so Diem calls off all elections. We'll get to that in just a second, but there was no way he could win, so he calls off the and it goes against the Geneva Accords. And uh, even, even though Diem has the promise of the United States military aid and training, all, all DM has to do is provide a stable government. DM says, no, I don't think so. So he, he doesn't hold up his end of the bargain. Um, it turns out that he is very corrupt. He suppresses a lot of the people in South Vietnam, doesn't give any land to peasants. And one of the biggest things that is captured in the media is uh, his treatment of Buddhists. Um, there's a lot of photos, which you'll see here coming up, but um, he really cut down on Buddhist practices. I believe DM was Catholic. Um, in the South, due to Diem's reign and oppression of the people, a group rises up. Now, this is a South Vietnamese group. Uh, again, I can't stress that enough. This is this is the part of Vietnam that's supposed to be opposing communism, supposed to be on the on the, on the side of the United States. But the Viet Cong, they're the group that forms in the South, and they are formed to remove Diem's corrupt government. Um, Ho Chi Minh takes advantage of this. And following the old phrase, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, Ho Chi Minh, communist, North Vietnam, North Vietnamese, begins to support the Viet Cong. Um, so let's take a moment just to gather that all together and think about that. The United States supports South Vietnam against North Vietnam communism, right? Um, we end up fighting the majority of the of the Vietnam War against the Viet Cong, a South Vietnamese group. Now they are getting uh, assistance from from North Vietnam. So in this in the whole realm of the Vietnam War, we're fighting uh, communism. We're fighting North Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh, and the Viet Cong, all at the same time, as well as getting involved in in Laos and Cambodia, uh, because they are supporters. Mm -hmm. Of Ho Chi Minh here, um, one of the ways that Ho Chi Minh gets support, get his gets his uh, assistance to the Viet Cong in the south, is what's called the Ho Chi Minh Trail, um, series of paths through the jungles of Cambodia and Laos and Vietnam. Um, that you know, the United States was successful in finding some places of the Viet of the Ho Chi Minh Trail and shutting them down, but then but overall, uh, completely unsuccessful in shutting down this trail. In essence, the the assistance being given to uh, the Viet Cong. Eisenhower and Kennedy uh, continue to support Diem despite his uh, failing popularity. And again, here's that photo I was talking about. One of the biggest things that hurts Diem and also at the same time hurts the United States in the media is, is Diem's treatment of Buddhists. And in response to Diem's oppression of Buddhism, Buddhist monks uh, and nuns set themselves on fire in public to protest Diem's government. And again, this is captured in the in the newsprint the media the tv of the day and this is what's being shown in the television and on in newspapers in the united states one of the many reasons vietnam is a is considered a failure 
uh, to many U.S. citizens is because of the dropping morale and, and what the American public saw taking place in Vietnam, like you see here in this picture. I apologize that this graphic is disturbing, um, but that's, you know, that's, that's the reality. Um, in order for the South to remain stable, just to keep some control in the South, the United States decided something had to change, and that, that decision was to remove Diem. So a military coup was organized, Diem was removed, um, and then he was assassinated. Uh, again, this is a U.S.-supported military coup. Now, this uh, assassination was against Kennedy's wishes, um, but it, it was carried out. Diem was assassinated. Um, Kennedy himself was assassinated just a few weeks after Diem's assassination. Um, again, a lot of conspiracies around Kennedy's assassination. I don't want to go into that too much right now, but one of the conspiracies is that Kennedy wanted to get out of Vietnam early before things got really, really bad, and... Um, he had announced plans to withdraw, but uh, those plans were not carried out due to his death. Guys, thanks for listening. Take care.